All right, so the last case, and then we'll let you go. This is something I just happened to have some pictures of that I took a while back, and I realize I've never made a video about this, but it's kind of an important entity to know about, in Dermpath at least. So uh, this is called acne keloidalis nuke, or also known as a folliculitis keloidalis, because it's not really acne. So here's the clinical photo, and you probably have all seen uh, this or some, something like it, uh, just because it's pretty common in the population, usually in patients of African ancestry, uh, because there are differences in African American or Afro Caribbean or anyone of African ancestry, th this type of, of their hair, the, the hair has a different density. There's a different number of follicles generally than in Caucasian patients, and the hair texture and growth pattern is a little bit different. And so there's, it seems like that somehow is related to this uh, this process. So here's an example. Uh, these are for our pictures from uh, Wikidocs. Uh, and so you can see multiple kind of scarred papules, often on the posterior neck. So that's where the name nuke comes from. It's kind of a little bit similar to folliculitis barbie. I feel like there's some overlap with that, which you can have in the beard area um, where people get kind of shave bumps and then those scar and then the hairs get trapped and then they rupture and then more inflammation and scarring happens. And it's the same kind of uh, process that's happening here in acne keloidalis uh, nuke. And sometimes it can be uh, quite quite terrible scarring and really disfiguring. So it's a really problematic disease uh, for the patients that suffer from this. So I just want to give you the clinical context. So microscopically, there's a spectrum of changes we see, and all of those center around the rupture of hair follicles with varying amounts of inflammation and scar formation. And despite the name keloidalis, these can look kind of like a keloid clinically, but they don't actually make those big keloidal collagen bundles, at least none of the cases I've seen. So the keloid really is more in the name than actually in the microscopic slide. They don't, don't expect to see big keloid collagen bundles. Here we have a, a, a hair follicle that has ruptured and you can see naked hair shafts in the dermis with a brisk granulomatous reaction with neutrophils also. And then here is kind of the more late stage where you have naked hair shaft fragments and see the pigment, that's melanin pigment. That's why hairs are darkly colored because they have melanin in them. And then giant cell and histiocyte reaction around it. And that, that's just a little hair root over there, uh, the matrical bulb of a hair. And here's another example where it's kind of more burned out and scarred, right? And you can see all this scar, some polypoid protrusion of the skin surface. The, the follicle is ruptured open with granulomatous and, and neutrophilic or separative inflammation. There's still part of the hair shaft in the, in the uh, follicle. Here's another naked hair shaft. And a naked hair shaft is a really good thing in Dermpath, a good clue. If you see a naked hair shaft, that means at some point a cyst or a follicle because many cysts in Dermpath are actually of hair follicle origin. So it's not uncommon to see one or multiple hair shafts inside the cyst lumen. So if you see this, that means at some point in the past, a hair follicle or a cyst has ruptured open, or the patient has had a, a wound or surgery or trauma that has broken up on a hair follicle or gotten a hair, hair shaft down into the dermis, okay? So it's useful to find this. It means something has happened here before. So these are all just examples. This is a more burned out example where you have dense hyalinized scar, with naked hair shafts embedded in it and giant cell foreign body granulomas because even though the body makes keratin, the keratin is supposed to be on the other side of the basement membrane. Once it gets into the dermis, the immune system treats it like foreign material and goes crazy and uh, kind of attacks it and creates this big robust response. And so here's like this hyalinized burned out scar, but still some granulomas and keratin debris in there. If you saw this anywhere else as a single lesion, it could just be a ruptured hair follicle, a ruptured cyst. If it were in the gluteal cleft, you could say this could be a pilonidal sinus, pilonidal cyst, pilonidal tract. I kind of lump those together as pilonidal disease. Um, you know, if you saw similar findings in the groin bilaterally and they had a history of draining sinuses, it could be hydradenitis separativa. This, the, this whole spectrum of stuff I'm showing you goes along with rupture of hair follicle or cyst, which can be seen in a variety of different clinical presentations. So that is uh, acne keloidalis nuke. Um, and if you don't know for sure the clinical, you can just be descriptive of it and then they can figure out uh, from the clinical setting which, which process. You know, so if I had this and they didn't tell me any information and I couldn't get it, I would describe it and say this could be a ruptured cyst or follicle. But in the right clinical setting, this could represent acne keloidalis nuke, but you have to correlate with the clinical dermatologic exam findings. So that's how I would word that if I didn't have access to the clinical information. Um, all right. So that is, uh, that's the end of our kind of random set of cases. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, any questions?